Hey dolls! I know this video is crazy long overdue. It's been forever since I've been able to get around to doing this and I do apologize for that but most of you guys know if you don't already Colourpop did a collab with My Little Pony and released a whole collection of makeup products and you guys know I had to get my hands on these puppies because I am a very firm dedicated lover of My Little Pony. I have been a faithful lover ever since I was like four or five years old. I grew up with My Little Pony and they are just, it's very near and dear to my heart. I do have a full video, it's kind of old, but why I love My Little Pony, if you're curious as to why I love it so much, you can go ahead and check that link. I'll put it in the description box below. I also did a review video on the Pure Cosmetics My Little Pony collection. Uh, I will also link that in the description box as well as on the screen so if you want to see me review more My Little Pony makeup feel free to check that out. But today we are talking about the Colourpop My Little Pony collab and I am so happy with this collection. I am so happy that this is finally a thing. You guys know when I reviewed the Pure Cosmetics My Little Pony collection I was very devastated that there wasn't more ponies all over the products and all over the packaging and I was really let down. That's why I am so much more relieved seeing this Colourpop collection. They printed these ponies on everything and I am so happy with the packaging itself. So before I get into the products I will go ahead and show you guys the packaging, everything that the products came in, uh, etc. So I was able to pick up everything that was on my wish list that I did want. I got the eyeshadow palette, both of the highlighters, all three of the Super Shock eyeshadows, and then two of the liquid matte lips. I'm not a real fan of lip gloss, so I really wanted to get the matte liquid lips instead. And I also did want to let you guys know that this is a collab with my friend Angel. Uh, she also got some of the collection herself. She's also a firm editor admirer of My Little Pony. So if you want to see her video and you like my channel and you like my videos, you're bound to love her content as well. I will link her video on the screen right here as well as in the description box if you want to check out and see what kind of look she did with her palette as well as her opinion on everything. Okay, so first I'm going to go ahead and show you guys all the packaging. This is the box that the palette came in. Just looks like this. It has the original Gen 1, My Little Pony all over there. I grew up with G1. I used to watch the show all the time. My mom had it recorded on VHS tapes and I would just watch it over and over and over and over again. You guys know G3 is my ultimate favorite generation of My Little Pony, but G1 has a very special place in my heart as well. But I just love how they incorporated the ponies all over the palette. It does have the shade names on the back of the box as well. For the highlighters, it's about the same thing, same print, same little logo on the front, and I believe it says what the product is on the back. For the Super Shock eyeshadows, they come in a package like this. It is open on both sides, so you can see what the shade is on the back and see the color itself or the product itself through the front, which is something that I love. And again, it is that same G1 print. And finally, for the lip products, like I said, I just got the ultra matte lips. I didn't get any of the lip glosses, but I think they came in the same packaging. They just have different words on the front, obviously. This one says ultra matte lip. And then again, has the little My Little Pony logo right there and the same print. Okay, now getting into the items themselves and their own packaging outside of the packaging, if that makes any sense, what they look like outside of the packaging. Here is the eyeshadow palette. I know this is what you guys want me to dive into first, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. You can see on the front it has beautiful, colorful artwork. The original My Little Ponies on there. Very cute. Love that. And then it also has the My Little Pony times Colourpop right here. Little logo. And on the back it does have all of the shade names, which I love. I love when palettes will either put the shade names underneath of the shade inside the palette itself, or if it is on the back of the palette. I hate 
when companies just give you like those little clear inserts that have the shade names on them. I don't want those. I just usually throw them away and then I forget what the shade names are. And then when you guys ask what I'm wearing on my eyes, I forget what the shade names are. So I can't really tell you. And it's just a disaster. So I'm very much appreciative that the shade names are on the actual palette somewhere. So opening it up, this is what the palette looks on the inside. I know my friend Angel commented on this as well. Some people have been complaining that there is no mirror on the inside. Unfortunately, I'm one of those people that is kind of complaining that there's no mirror on the inside, but that's okay. Okay, I'm not too picky about it. I'm willing to sacrifice a mirror to have super cute ponies on the outside. So I'm not going to complain too much about it, mirror or no mirror. Uh, some people prefer it, some people don't. But here are the shades on the inside. And as you can see, I have dipped into these quite a few times. I have used several of the shades. Uh, as you can see, this is my makeup for today. I used the eyeshadow palette on my eyes as well as one one of the super shock eyeshadows which I will get into in a minute while we are on the topic of the eyeshadows since this was a collab with my friend Angel and we didn't want to make our videos be insanely long individually we decided to split it up and have her swatch the first half of the palette and have me swatch the second half of the palette she swatched the first line and these middle two and I will be swatching the bottom row and these middle two so if you want to see the other colors swatched definitely head on over to her channel and see her video so starting with those middle two shades I'm gonna go ahead and insert my swatches right now but the first one is Applejack and it is just a matte kind of peachy orange color I love this as a transition shade and then the other color that is in the middle row is called Sky Dancer and it is a deep pink it's it comes off more pink on my skin tone personally but it's kind of like a burgundy mauve -y, like a burgundy mauve is the best way I can describe it. It's a lot deeper, more rich, kind of a cranberry color, and it blends so beautifully. It's also a matte. We have the black shade on the left, which is Princess Sparkle, and that's actually the shirt I'm wearing today, Princess Sparkle. Uh, I was shocked that this was a black shade, but it does have some sparkle in it. It's not extreme or super shimmery. It's kind of dull as far as the sparkle goes, but it is definitely a black charcoaly color, and it does blend nicely as well considering it is a black shadow the next shade we have is snuzzle which is a beautiful like silvery gray color I haven't really seen this in a lot of eyeshadows it's kind of like to me it's kind of as if it's like the tin man from Wizard of Oz it's very kind of aluminum colored and very tin like in a way and I think that's a really cool look to put on your eyes then the next shade has to be one of my ultimate favorite shades in the palette. It is the shade Firefly and it appears to be a white shadow when you first look at it in the palette. Once it is swatched, it has a gorgeous kind of light blue shimmer to it. Once you hit it with certain lights, you can see the shine and the glimmer and it's kind of really metallic-y and it just gives it a whole different dimension having that blue look to it. I did use that on the majority of my eye makeup today on the inner section. I'm not sure if you can really tell, but I did load my eye up with it to kind of illuminate the inner section and it is blue so it does give it a little bit more of a dimension and then the last shade on here is a really deep blue called twilight it's gorgeous it's like a deep navy color I haven't actually put that on my eyes just yet but as I see it swatched and even when I look at it in the palette, it looks like a very unique shade that I don't have in my eyeshadow collection. So I'm excited to kind of play with it a little bit. So that is the palette. Those are the shades that I've swatched. Like I said, if you want to see the other shades swatched, head on over to Angel's channel and she will show you the rest. Moving on, we are going to talk about the highlighters. These are what they look like. They both look the same, just like so. And when you open them up, they do, in fact, have little mirrors, which have this a plastic seal on them to protect them. I haven't taken those off just yet, but as you can see, here's what one of the highlighters looks like. And the more I'm looking at this, I cannot find the shade names on these. So 
The actual shade names are not on the little individual palettes themselves. Uh, they were uh, on a sticker on the little packaging. I did toss one of the other boxes though, but one of these is Starflower and one of these is something else. But anyway, these are both of the highlighters. They only had it two in the My Little Pony collection, so uh, you can definitely tell the difference between the two. This light pink one right here, you can kind of see where I had swatched it that it has a metallic kind of iridescent sheen to it that is a little bit purple. I don't like this as a highlighter. I'm just gonna be flat out and honest with you guys. I hate this as a highlighter. It is not vibrant enough for me. As you can see by my nose and my cupid's bow and like my cheek, I like my highlighter to be beaming and you can see it from outer space and this highlighter just does not do it for me however this would be cute to maybe apply in the center of your lips to give a little bit more dimension or even apply it as like a really light blush and then do highlight on top of it that's what I kind of have been doing but it's just not it's not bright enough in my opinion for a highlighter especially considering the highlighters that I have used from ColourPop before they're a lot more vibrant but this one just doesn't really cutting it for me the color is pretty but it just doesn't translate very well on my skin and I'm not a huge fan of it and with this one right here because I have such a light pale skin tone this one comes off a little bit dark on me and it almost as if it's a bronzer rather than a highlight so I'm not a huge fan of this one but it is a pretty little gold highlight uh, this one I feel is more vibrant and you can build it up a lot easier than and the pink one again it's just all preference if you like subtle highlights th these are definitely something for you but if you're someone like me who literally wants to see the reflection of the moon on your face uh, <laughs> this probably isn't for you it's not exactly what you would want so I probably wouldn't have bought these had I known they were as sheer or as light as they are but because they are kind of a novelty item to have as like a little collector's edition that's awesome and also I I have heard that you can pop out the pans that are inside of them and exchange them with other shades or other colors so that is definitely something that I might consider doing because I love the little packaging. Next up we have the three Super Shock Shadows and I have had ColourPop Super so Shock Shadows before. Super Shock Shadows, Super Shock Shadows, say that ten times fast. And the formula is amazing. When you touch it, it feels kind of like a cream, but then once it's applied, it is like a powder. I don't know, it blends really nicely. They're gorgeous. I always apply them with my fingers and I never have problems being able to blend them around. However, I will say that one of them did come shattered in the mail when I got it. It was the Cherries Jubilee shade, the white one. And I was very upset that it came shattered, but because the formula is kind of squishy and it feels creamy but it's not actually creamy I was able to just kind of use my finger and press the broken bits back into place and kind of mold it back together so there was absolutely no issue um, as far as not being able to salvage the product so yeah the white one is gorgeous it has some gold undertone sparkle to it and I love applying this to the inner corner of my eye a lot just a beautiful beautiful kind of highlight shade you can also use this as a highlight on your skin it works just as well and then the next one right here is kind of more of a gold one that has gold shimmer and it is in the shade Posy. Again, very pretty to layer on top of any eyeshadow in general. If you have a matte shadow and you want to shimmer it up a little bit, these are an awesome option. And then the last one is Sunbeam and this has got to be probably my favorite shadow in my entire makeup collection. I kind of wish that I would have bought like five of these. It has so much dimension to it. It is so unique and it is unlike any shadow I've ever swatched or touched or felt or owned and I love it so much. Again, it's kind of like that cream consistency, but it kind of applies as if it were a powder, which makes it very easy to just pop on top of whatever color you're already wearing. You can use it as a highlighter. You can use it as a lip accent. You can use it 
all all over pretty much it comes off as a purple shade when you see it on camera but once you actually swatch it with your finger it has underlying glitters of pink purple blue it's more of like a rainbowy purple type shadow than just a purple sparkly eyeshadow and i love the dimension in it it never like comes off the same way on camera or in videos or pictures. It is one of those eyeshadows that you definitely have to swatch and see in person to understand the full true effect of it. And that's something that's disappointing to me. Like I want it to be able to show up on camera and videos and pictures and all of that, but it's just one of those things that you have to see it in person to appreciate its beauty. I don't know if that sounds cliche or anything like that, but it's definitely unique and gorgeous. I honestly think that this eyeshadow right here is my favorite thing from the collection, which is weird because you would think I would love the eyeshadow palette. I do love the palette. The colors are great. The blendability is amazing. The formulas are awesome. But this color, you guys, if I have to recommend one item from the whole entire collection and you are someone who likes to play with color, this is eyeshadow the sunbeam super shock shadow will be your new best friend i promise you it is so gorgeous ah okay and the last thing i have to share with you guys real quick are the two matte liquid lipsticks i got the pink one right here in the shade pinwheel it's kind of a darker pink and then the one i'm wearing on my lips right now is in the shade lemon drop and it is more of a lavendery purple and as I said, I am wearing this on my lips right now, but as you can see, there's a little bit more dimension happening. And to get that effect, what I actually did is took the shade right here called Firefly, the one that is white but has the blue iridescent feel to it. And I used that as a highlight, not only all over my face itself, uh, I used it as a lip highlight. And I just kind of like dotted it in the center, pressed my lips together, and just kind of dotted it just in the center to give my lips kind of a glossy looking texture. I kind of wish that that Firefly shade in the palette was one of these highlighters instead because I use it on my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, my cheeks, and it just gave it such a cool different look because of the blue tint in it. But as you can see, my face doesn't look like crazy blue or off or weird or anything like that because it is buildable so you can do it lighter or softer or more heavy, whatever you choose. I just love that shade so much, that Firefly firefly shade and this thing those are my two favorites hands down anyway the formula of the lipstick is great it's like if you've ever had one of the ColourPop liquid lippies before you are familiar with the formula I don't feel like they've changed anything too much it doesn't dry out my lips excessively I just use a lip scrub to exfoliate first and then I put on a chapstick underneath before I apply these and it lasts hours upon hours I don't have a problem with it bleeding or fading or anything like that obviously if I eat some of it's gonna come off here and there that's pretty much a given but for the price you really can't complain I love the formula of their liquid lips so with that being said I guess I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video let me know in the comments down below if you yourself have some of the ColourPop My Little Pony collection and what your favorite items are from it uh, what is your favorite product that you got or what is one item that you really want to try that you haven't gotten your hands on yet don't forget to check out Angel's video linked in the description box below also if this is the first video that you guys have seen from me feel free to click the subscribe button down below and maybe even the little bell icon while you're at it so you can be notified when I upload future content. And with that, I will talk to you all soon. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. All right, bye!